love you. We love you. Beautiful. Wow, what a crowd. You know, you have people five miles back in their cars. Should we wait for them to come in? No. I'll tell you what, I just drove up, though, and it's like forever. The cars are way back there, so they'll just start coming in. And by the time the last ones come in, we'll be finished. We're going to go home, right? Right? So anyway, thank you very much. You know, South Carolina, special place. They're all saying how well I do in South Carolina, like beyond any place. And I want to just, I want to just thank you. Fox just came out just a little while ago with new polls. Killing everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Killing everybody nationally. I'd go over the numbers, but what the hell? Let's see. They're so good. Let's see, just out. Trump, 35. Second, 19 or 20 or something like that. In New Hampshire, absolutely killing everybody. We're just beating them. And I'll tell you, we just came out. You'll be very happy. In South Carolina, big, big, big lead. My biggest of all, actually. So. And Reuters just came out. Trump, 42. Remember, that's 42%. And we have how many people are left? I mean, you tell me they're dropping, dropping, dropping. We have about, what, 12 left. But this was as of a couple of days ago. 42, 16 for Cruz. Carson is at 12 or 12, 8. Bush is down low, man. Rubio's down low. Wow. Those are pretty wild numbers. Uh, it gets low energy. Yeah. Uh, it's a tough world, right? But all over. But South Carolina has been amazing. Here's one. Trump, 38. So we're almost at 40. That's with, actually, that's with 14 people. I'd take that with three people, right? We'll take it with three people. So I just want to thank you all. You know, we have a country that's really in serious trouble, but we're going to straighten it out. I'll tell you right now. We are going to... We are... We are going to straighten it out. And I tell people, we don't win anymore. When was the last time we won? When did we win a trade where you say, oh, boy, did we do great against China? Instead, China goes down, we go down. We follow. We're like a follower. And I've been talking about this for years, folks. I've been telling you, be careful. Be very careful. But we're tied into China, we're tied into other places, and we've got problems. And there's no reason for it. There's no reason whatsoever. Now, they're going to take their currency, and they're going to start devaluing it more and more and more. And what's that going to do that's going to make it impossible for your businesses to compete? It already is, because their currency devaluation is the key. They want to, they want to pass. I don't know if you've been reading about President Obama wanting to pass a new trade pact. They don't talk. Well, think of it. The biggest problem we have is currency manipulation. That's how they beat us. We, they don't beat us on product. We make better product, believe me, by a lot. By a lot. And the trade pact doesn't discuss currency manipulation and doesn't discuss it. The problem we have is we have leaders that don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. And, you know, it's very interesting. When I decided to run, I had to run. Too many things, too many things. And I love what I'm doing. I built a great company. It's an amazing company. You know, I filed, right? And I say this, this is not done in a bragging way. I built a great company. Some of the greatest real estate assets and assets in the world. Very low debt. Very, very tremendous cash flow. All of those things. It's the kind of thinking we need in this country. We have $19 trillion. We have $19 trillion in debt. So when I said that I want to do this, I've got to do it. I was going to do it last time. I sort of wish I did, but you know what? Maybe we're better off this time. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Because last time, we should have won. We should have won. But people didn't get out. You have to, by the way, just in case we forget, you have to get out and vote. You got to do it. You know, 
If the big Republican base got out and voted last time, with all the stuff you hear, you could have won that election, I'll tell you. There was a lack of spirit, there was a lack of something, and it didn't work out. You had a president who was failing badly. It was a race that should have been won. And we can't let it happen again. We are going to make our country so great again. And I have to say again, you know, I go home and look at all these people from the press. Miserable people, but that's it. True. True. It never fails, okay? But I go home and sometimes I'll say, the American dream is dead, but we're going to make it bigger and better and stronger than ever before. And that's true. That's true. So I went home recently, and my wife said to me, what a terrible statement you made. It was so depressing. I said, what did I say? You said the American dream is dead. I said, no, but I said I'm going to make it bigger and better and stronger than ever before. No. And she said, no, but they didn't put the second part in. In other words, I said the American dream is dead, but boom, they cut. That's what happens. That's what happens. But I'll tell you what, uh, we're really doing well. The spirit in this country, no matter where I go, I mean, here we are in South Carolina, but I go to, I, no matter where, even North Carolina, I have to tell you. I have to tell you. North Carolina. And I have a big job there, and it's a great job, and they're amazing people. But no matter where I go, we go to Texas, we went to Dallas, we had 21,000 people. Mobile, Alabama, and they do have a good football team, whether we like it or not. They do. They do. They do. <laughs> oh, you'll be back next year. You're going to be back. But, hey, you have, you have a good football team, right? You have a good football team. But, but no matter where we go, it's this kind of incredible enthusiasm. By the way, before I start, I want to thank wherever he is. The fire marshal has been incredible because they wanted to shut it down and they got extra volunteers, and everybody's standing at doors and everything, and people are flowing in as we're speaking. So, Fire Marshal, wherever the hell you are, we love you. Okay? Thank you. Especially the people that aren't going to have to turn back and go home. But no matter where I go, I mean, it's, it's incredible in Iowa. It's incredible in, in New Hampshire, here. We go to Nevada. We go to the SEC. No matter where we go, there's people and there's spirit, and it's beautiful to watch, I will tell you. Oh, I love you, too. I thought that was a heckler for a second. No, no, that was a but. Well, I always say I like the hecklers because the only way the cameras turn to show the audience is when we have hecklers. Last night, they had over 20,000 people in a line in Vermont. They said it was bigger than anything they've ever seen. They've never had anything like it. They've had rock groups. They've had everything. They've never seen lines like that. And it was an amazing evening. I guess you probably mostly saw where I said, don't give them their coats. Now, I mean, it was cold out. And I said, don't give them their coats. I was only kidding, right? But a lot of the news media, they said, that was not very nice. I was kidding, folks. I was kidding. We have to kid a little bit. You know, I always say, when we did this, I said, we're going to have a great time tonight, considering the subject matter is not so great. Because what are we talking about? We're talking about a country that doesn't know how to make deals, doesn't know how to run their military. Our military is in terrible shape. Our vets, our vets are being mistreated horribly, and that's not going to happen. <laughs> Obamacare is a disaster, and we're going to repeal it and replace it. We're going to repeal it and replace it. Do you know Obamacare? I don't know if you see it. I know everybody that's using it or have to use it, but whoever, you can't afford it. She just said you can't afford it, right? Raise your hat. Go ahead. Look at that beautiful hat. She just said you can't afford it. 25 percent, 35 percent, 45 percent increases. I mean, nobody's ever seen anything like it. It's dead. It dies in 17 anyway, but it's going to be an explosion. Why couldn't it just die now? Let me go in and do something nice and say, they'll blame me. They'll blame me. 
But you know what? Obamacare has to end. It has to end. And it's going to end in 17. You read the articles, all the articles, all the experts, because everybody that they didn't think was going in is going in, and the people that were really paying for it aren't going in. And you know, if you look at your deductibles, I mean, unless you're dying the worst and longest death, you're never going to be able, in a million years, you're never going to be able to use it. So we will change it. We will make it terrific. We'll make it much less costly and much better and much better. So, and I have to say to the people behind me, that's a lot of people, right? But I have to say, by the way, do you see a bald spot back there? No, right? Not too bad. Not too bad, right? Whenever I have a big crowd behind me, I say, give me a mirror. I don't look at the front, I look at the back, you know? But you know what I'm saying to them? They think, they think they don't have as good a location. They actually have better because look, see all the cameras? They're gonna be the stars, see? That's all. Amazing, amazing people. Our country has amazing people. And you know, we're going to start making Apple computers here instead of in China. We really are. That's what, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And we have the people to do it. The one thing, I have been traveling every night. It's another place, another stop, another. The people are amazing. And it doesn't matter where. Here we are in South Carolina. No matter where I go, tomorrow I'm going to Iowa. Two stops, and then another one on Monday, and then something else on Sunday. I'm all over the place. It helps to have a good airplane, I will say. That. Yes. I don't know what I'd do without the airplane. We'd have a problem. But we're all over the place. And you know, I've been a little rough on Hillary Clinton lately because it's been very unfair. It's been very unfair. Well, you know, when you do things, you have to represent yourself properly. You just have to. And she was not fair. And I think that, you know, and she lied. I mean, let's face it. Number one, it started with the video, the ISIS video that didn't exist. And she said, he's forming. And actually, her husband is in that video. So her husband's in a video. And she said, I was in a video, ISIS, bomb, bomb, bomb. It wasn't. Then, about a week later, another one was made from a different group, Al-Shabaab. These are real beauties, these groups, I tell you what. Al-Shabaab. Now I'm a star of Al-Shabaab, right? Ay, ay, ay. And she said, see, I told you, I told you. Well, it wasn't made, and then it was made, you know. So, got to be truthful. We got to be truthful. And it's got to be an interesting race. First, we have to do our little thing. We have about 13, 12 left. How many are left? How, did anybody leave today? Did anybody drop out? I mean, you have so many guys that are so low, it's not going to happen. I would never Rand Paul. Did he drop out today? Well. You know, honestly, they're all nice people. They're all nice people. Of course, if I was threatened, I wouldn't be saying that. You know that. If, 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 I thought, if I thought we were in trouble, I wouldn't be saying nice. But they are. A lot of them are nice people. But so far, every single person that's hit me, where have they gone? Bing, right? So far, you look. I mean, now, Lindsey Graham is a very nice man, right? He hit me hard. I'll tell you what, he really, you know, it's like, it was sort of strange. It was strange. He, boy, did he come after me. I don't really know him, other than one time he gave me his phone number because he wanted campaign contributions. He <laughs> said he's a rhino. No, you know what, what happens? When they leave the race, I like him. I like him. I like Lindsey Graham now. I really do. I like them all. I have a very short memory when it comes to this, because we have to. We have to. I have the world's greatest memory, though, when somebody does something wrong. But you have to forget it. What? Oh, listen to my man back there. 